Hello. This is the Fiel Raven Raven 28. It's written Raven 28. Uh, on the A, it's got a little circle. Uh, so I, I'm pronouncing, I'm going to say the Raven, okay? Forgive me if it's slightly wrong. So uh, Fjell Raven, the uh, famous Swedish brand. There's the little Swedish flag logo stitched into the side. The really nice uh, Snow Fox logo on leather, in leather, stitched onto the front. Right, I'm going to show you around this backpack. This is the 28 version. I've also got the 20 version that I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, uh, spoiler alert, I love this bag, so useful. Um, it looks like a traditional sort of school pack. Uh, so initially um, I wasn't particularly attracted to it, however, however I got one, now I love it. This is what I use all the time. So practical, really well made, comfortable. Right, I'm going to model it for you. So I'm uh, 6 foot 1, 1 meter 85. I'm quite chunky, uh, as you can see. But um, how does it? How do you think it looks? It's, make your mind up. I'm going way back so you can see. It's comfortable. Uh, I, I find it. It's good. To be fair, the um, the straps are the, well, it, always a little bit short for me. All backpack straps are short. You see, the, they come just just to the armpit. However, that's 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 uh, that's okay. Right. I'm waffling on. Let me show you the backpack. Loads of pockets, loads of compartments, loads of zips. Now, loads of zips, can you see that I've collected them all at the top? It's not too rattly, something to bear in mind. They've all got um, a bit of um, paracord style stuff uh, in a really unusual um, setup. However, that's really useful because you can just grab that nice and quick. Um, Double zipped, most of these compartments are double zipped. Love that, love a double zip. You can organize uh, a access to your compartment how you wish. So you can have them both at the top, so you can quickly open that side or that side. Or if you prefer, for whatever reason, you can have it all down on one side. Uh, flexible, nice. So you open those up. The other thing to note about these compartments is that they open really wide. Uh, so having those double zips and they go right down means that you can open them super wide and uh, let's, let's get the other one. There's loads, loads of compartments. Oh, I've got my little notebook in there, let's get that out. So uh, front compartment, nice and wide. Inside there's mesh and in that mesh there's meshed front pocket. There's two. Oh, I've got a Twix in there. Nice. What's that? Oh, and some dried nuts. <laughs> Bonus. Right, so uh, zipped top me meshed top pocket. Ooh, uh. Zipped mesh bottom pocket. That's hanging off the front. Uh, let's go back into the main body. Then you've got this back sort of nylon material. Um, a little bit flimsy, to be honest, but uh, perfectly adequate. And that's got little pockets, stitched pockets, so you could put pen. Oh, I don't know phone, glasses, whatever you want in there. So that's the main, the front compartment, I'm going to call it. Spacious, you can fit loads of stuff in there. You can fit uh, A4 folder in there, no problem. Right, I'll zip that back up. Just whilst we're on the front, there is a zipped pocket. Now it's single zip, traditional pocket, plenty big enough, absolutely huge really. Uh, what have I got in there? Oh, I've got um, one of those roots that you chew, like licorice root. I like to have that on a, on a hike. Anyway, right, that's good. Slightly um, oblique. I think that's just a design uh, cue, a design choice. Doesn't serve any practical purpose. I think the, the latest version of the Raven or the equivalent is, is horizontal, doesn't really make any difference. Right, keep going. Uh, so that's the front pocket, the front compartment. The middle compartment or the main compartment and this is very big really big and that's got nothing on the back no uh, stitched areas or anything and it's nice and voluminous you could fit oh you could fit loads in there it, uh, what, what could you fit a loaf of bread a couple of you could fit a one and a half litre bottle of coke um, it's a change of clothes it's, it's big 
On, however, on the front side, you do have a big zipped pocket. Not mesh this time, just that nylon material. That's huge as well, you fit your hand in there. Right, that's the main zipped compartment. Still traveling backwards on the bag. This is a lovely feature. I really enjoy this. On the top of the bag, just here, is this little compartment, little zip, zippered area that's just a suspended uh, zippered bag within the main compartment. And in here, it's um, it's got a fluffy, soft lining. So I chuck my reading glasses in there uh, and just and a little first aid kit, some pens, and that's dead handy. But it keeps things nice and sort of safe with the soft, fluffy lining. And the backpack's on the, just on your lap or on the floor. You just quickly grab your glasses without having to open the whole bag. That's a great little feature, that. Really nice. Right, let's keep going. The back compartment, again, double zippered. You zip quite low down. You fold it nice and wide. This is the laptop uh, area. So there's a sleeve on the front, the main bit, then a thick padded sleeve uh, that you could fit a 15 inch laptop and so you've got the padding there on the back side of the padding is some soft fluffy stuff the same as that little mini pocket and then the back itself has very thick padding so if you were to put your laptop in that bit what is designed for there it's very well protected plus it goes against your back uh, which is nice. So in terms of weight distribution against your back, perfect. In terms of safety, perfect. Another point about the safety of your laptop is that this zip uh, is sort of slightly concealed. It has this, um, I don't know what you call that, that goes over it's like a hood, like a zipped zip hood that conceals that back zip somewhat. So you could with some confidence, zip your laptop into there, put the zips down to one side, pull the hood over, and it's not easily accessible or even noticeable. That's a nice feature. So that's the compartments, loads of compartments, plenty of space, easy to organize all your stuff. One thing I would say about having so many compartments and zips and areas is that you forget where your stuff is. So that Twix, I've forgotten I had that in there. Because uh, <laughs> it's just, there's so many areas but that's not a problem as such that's more a problem about me and my the way my brain works let's keep going a uh, nice grab handle at the top the balance of it is nice obviously there's nothing in this in this but you can see the balance is about right leather lined it looks nice it feels good uh, normal sort of nylon strap otherwise and then the shoulder straps curved shaped slight somewhat very uh, mesh on the contact points and squidgy nothing remarkable but they are comfortable they're fine right one last feature uh, is these big side pockets big side pockets for water bottle or anything you fancy now I've got a one liter flask that pops in there it's really spacious so you could easily put have two litre flasks. I mean, you can go bigger. You could even go bigger. You could have like a one and a half litre bottle of pop or, uh, you know, like a thermos flask. Do bear in mind, <laughs> that's a kilo. Uh, that's two kilos. It's going to start getting heavy. However, that's that's not to do with the rucksack. But the those pockets are great. Really, really handy. One nice feature is, I've got this backpack on. My kids say, Dad, can I have a drink? And all I need to do is reverse up to them and go, there you go. Yep. Where is it? There you go take it they have their drink put it back easy to put back I don't even need to take the backpack off very very niche feature however I enjoy that uh, well I'll just pop the water bottle away uh, one thing to note of, about this rucksack is that the but the base I hear gets a little bit of a hammering popping it down picking it up scraping and stuff and this particular one is starting to fray here. Now that's not a problem because um, that's not actually the back at the bottom of the bag. There's a there's a, a lining 
underneath this. So if that were to get a hole, you're not actually through to the bag yet. However, um, it's not going to last forever. It's, it's, it is its weak point, I would say. The straps are sturdy. The stitching here, that's not a weak point uh, when we're talking about weak points. It, this, this area here where you base, you're putting it down, that's its weak point. That's by the by, right. So this is the Fuhrer Raven 28, uh, Raven, Fuhrer Raven, Raven 28, uh, in sort of dusk blue, I think they call it. I've got some other colours to show you. Well, one other colour. I've got this lovely red. Uh, really nice deep red. Same, this is the 28. Uh, now, I like my dusk blue. Was it dust, dusty blue? I can't remember which adjective they use. Um, this is more discreet, uh, no one really notices, that's nice and simple and easy. This, uh, well, uh, I'm talking about opinion here, much more noticeable, less discreet, which you might want if you're hiking uh, or just out and about in town, or, or it's for your kids and you want them to be easily, more easily notice, noticeable uh, hiking along the, the to school and back. Anyway, that's colours. Colours as opinions. Let me just grab the Fair Raven Raven 20. So this is the 20. As you can see, it shares many of the features of its big brother, the 28, but it's smaller. So it's 20. Oh, I should have said at the beginning actually. 28 obviously refers to the 28 litres volume of the bag. 20, 20 litres. So it's all the same, but smaller. So I'm going to model this for you. So again, one meter eighty-five. So I'm quite big. This is a small backpack, really day pack style. Just as comfortable. I really like this as well. This is super practical. Now, the difference is that it has fewer compartments. So it has a zip on the front, double zip still, nice and wide opening. The front compartment, for example, only has one um, mesh zip pocket inside. It doesn't then have a front compartment, you go straight to the main compartment. In the main compartment is the zippered uh, little pouch at the front and then the laptop sleeve. And that's it, there's no back compartment. So much simpler and smaller. It still has that top pouch for your glasses, whatever you want, easy access to a tissue or whatever. So that's still really cool feature that they've kept for the smaller version. Grab handle the same, shoulder straps the same, weak point the same. You can see the fading is starting to happen, uh, but it'll come. Oh, I forgot to say, the little uh, logo on the on the uh, strap is nice. It's got it on the blue and the red. So that's the 28. Oh no, the 20. Uh, I haven't missed any details. The side pockets, it has those same water bottle pockets. Can I fit a litre bottle in there? Absolutely. So still just as practical, just slightly smaller. Right, there we go. So that's it for the Raven 28 and 20. I hope you've enjoyed this video, or at least <laughs> that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, I hope you found something useful from my video showing you around these bags. Click like if you did, I really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, I always love a subscription. Everybody on YouTube does, don't they? And have a look around my channel. I do watches and knives and EDC stuff, which I sort of class feel even stuff as EDC, everyday carry. This is how you carry your stuff around. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, which I should have done, is the G1000 material. It's the same G1000 uh, polyester cotton mix that they have in, in most of their stuff, clothes and so on. Super sturdy, this is really, really tough stuff. Uh, they're relying on its sturdiness a little too much for the base here, uh, but otherwise, nice and sturdy. It's not waterproof. Showerproof, if you waxed it, it would be more weatherproof, but uh, the zips are not in any way um, waterproof. Uh, it, it isn't a waterproof backpack, but uh, very, very sturdy. Right, I've waffled on enough. Thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.